welcome to another episode of the Let's Play with Bruce Hugh Dortmund. My name's John, aka Old Man Suda, and um, yes, yeah, since I last left you, which was the 5-3 win in the Super Cup against Bayern Munich, we've done alright. We played another friendly, beat Malaga 2-1, not bad Malaga, not a bad Spanish side. Uh, we then played in the German Cup, played München Lions. Um, I must admit, I don't. I've never heard of these. I'm not sure exactly where they play. Uh, does it say here? No. Oh well, they play in. It looks like the German second division. Um, and I haven't heard much about them. Um, it was a pretty easy win. We were dominant through. I played out. You know, I'll show you now. I played a uh, sort of mixed of rotation side. Uh, a couple of players in there that don't probably won't start in our first. As you can see, we were dominant. We won it quite easy. Uh, Alexander Isaac got um, the first goal. And then uh, Papistopoulos. Papistopoulos, is it? Papapastopoulos? Uh, I don't know what his name is. Uh, I've, I've had people taking the mickey out of me on Twitter uh, about how my pronunciations of names. And I'll say it again. I do apologise. I am absolutely rubbish with pronouncing names. And even players that I know well... Um, you know, um, Yamoto and um, obviously like Goetez, Gozet Goez. I can't see, I can't pronounce them, but I know who they are. They're some of the best footballers in Europe, and I do know who they are, but I just can't pronounce their names. I am absolutely rubbish at it, and I do apologise. Um, you'll see, I'll probably end up calling every single person Bob, just because it's easier. Anyway, um, transfers wise, not much has happened. Uh, we were trying to get this Pavad from Stuttgart. They were asking silly money for him. Uh, I'm looking at this guy, Nicholas Starks. He looks pretty good. Um, I think he could be a good youngster for us and could really be something in the future. Uh, I've got a bid in for him at the moment. He's worth 8 million. We've got a bid of about 16 million in for him. Uh, they're playing hard to get. We'll see how it goes. Uh, there's not much to really say about it at the moment. I think uh, where was the last bid? Yeah, it was like here. So they want like 20.5 million for him. I wasn't worth willing to give that much. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're, we're, we're playing around trying to get him if we can. So uh, we'll see how it goes. You know, we might be alright. We have got a game today, obviously. It is against Mainz. I'm going to try and bring in Leverkusen one as well. I will be checking time. if I don't want these to go over 20 minutes. So if we're sort of like 16, 17 minutes in after the Mainz game, we're not going to play the Leverkusen one. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but this is the team we're going with. So it's uh, Timo in goal. We've got Toljan, uh, Torpak, uh, Papastra, Popolis. Oh, I can't say his name. I really can't. Uh, and Pizek in uh, the back. Uh, Castro's up in the middle. We've got Shell and Yamaloko. Yam Yamaloko. Yamaloko. Uh, Kelkwawa and Gotez in uh, the attacking midfield roles. And then Ambayang. Ambayang. Ambayang uh, up in front. I really wish I could. We're going to change him to a poach chart. I prefer him in that way. It's uh, you're starting to see here. We're starting to get some relationships between some of the players, which is absolutely fantastic. Morale's good. We're playing really well. Things are going really well for us. Uh, we still have the injury crisis, obviously, and it'll be great to get a couple of these players back because we don't have much in the way of players that we can rotate at the moment, which is a bit of an issue for us. So I'm hoping some of these players here, you can see, they're out for like a couple more weeks tomorrow uh seven days you know tomorrow so hopefully by the next video we'll have a couple of these players back and things will be going quite well for us but this is who we're playing today we can stick with this formation it's working well for us at the moment um mains not a bad side but a team we should be i believe uh we're gonna say obviously just calmly go out there and uh go out there and give these fans their money's worth looks to have done reasonably well I'll say to the, the defence, uh, I have faith, go out there and make a difference. We're going to say it to all of the midfield as well. Just, you know, try and really get there, have faith in you guys, they look happy. We'll say it to the attacking as well. Um, passionate 
and they look happy so everything looks like it's pretty good uh, opponents will do that for the opponents and we'll get straight off to the game we'll end of the team talk there and hopefully the first game of the se first game of the season league wise we can uh, we can do pretty well we can maybe hopefully win quite reasonably uh, I think Bayern Munich won 4-0 or something like that uh, against Herfa so 4-1 so obviously this is a game we want to win as well as Castro has a free kick he puts it into the box but unfortunately we don't get it we're going to pick it up though and we get it to Gotez Gotez to Yamoko Yamoko gets it to Kawa Kawa gets it back to Castro we're playing it around nice Gotez can he knock it out wide we do but we knock out to, wide to the left Sherlo then gets it and he gets tackled unfortunately and we're going to clean this up We've got to be a bit careful here because obviously, like I said, Maine's well-known German side. Uh, maybe not one of the ones that are up in at the high reaches of the Bundesliga, but they're not a bad side by any means of it, you know. Um, so we've got to be a little bit careful. But we seem to be doing pretty well. We're forcing them back, which is quite good. Busman now, Dabassi, is it? He comes in. Is he going to take a shot? No, he gets it out to Sampero. And we go 1-0 down. And that's really annoying. Because I thought we were the better side for the first few minutes there. Uh, but 1-0 down. There's still a long way to go. We can still obviously pull this back. Uh, you can see it. I mean, great little run by him. Great little pass. And it was a pretty easy goal for him, wasn't it? So we'll see how we get in on, uh, on this first half. I still feel like we can get something out of this. Castro, it's a Yamenko to Gotez. He tries to feed it through, but it's a bit of a wayward pass, and that's not how we want it to be, really. Um, and we really should need to be picking up passes like that. But not much else is happening, but the mains are coming forward again. But a great interception there by Topak, and he's going to try and get Aubameyang out wide and it gets cut off but can we collect it we do is he going to get a chance doesn't it's a great shot and that was almost in and it's a corner to us as that was a poor corner but we're going to get another chance at it Castro then gives it to Topak Topak to Gotez to Sarakis Gotez and we get another chance but we put it over and 10 minutes gone. I mean, we're, we're, we're in there. We just... We, we just... Uh, yeah, we're, we're in there. We're just not finishing, it looks like. As they have a goal kick. Busman now on the left with it. He's going to try and bring it forward. He passes it to Dabassi. He gives it to Muto. Muto's by himself, though. Come on, we can... And that was a bit of a rubbish shot, wasn't it? And things just don't seem to be going our way at the moment. We've got another corner. Castro there, he puts it in. Can they get it? We do. That's the equaliser. Who scored it for us? It was Topak. In off the bar. His first goal for Dortmund. Fantastic. Get in there, son. One all. It was a good header by him. Uh, and we're back in this. Can we now start cracking on a little bit? That's the question. As De Blasi's got it, he gives it to Diallo. Back to De Blasi. Latez gives it to Maxim. Maxim tries to get Muto. Muto's forced wide a little bit, but he gets it into Maxim and they score again. And that's annoying. We come back and then they score straight away. That's really frustrating. And things aren't going too well at the moment. We had plenty of players around, but we just did not pick him up. He had so much room in the middle of the box there. But we'll see if we can come back still. I feel, I feel like we can. As we're coming up to half time, and things aren't been going as well as we'd hoped, but we'll see how we get on. As that's half time, uh, we're going to say on a team talk. We're going to say just assertively, show me something in the second half. That seems to have gone pretty well. Give the assistant something to talk about. Everyone seems pretty fired up. We'll give them sort of 15, 20 minutes, see how it goes. See if we can get an equaliser and get something out of this game. If not, we'll make some changes. Um, 
but you look at the stats wise well, stats wise we are we're there with we're, we're in there with the stats and we're having the shots we just need to put some actually away with 15 minutes gone not much is happening we have a corner though Castro now puts it in and we get to, and Topak with the second goal he's having an absolute blinder get in there that's his second goal uh, for a defender he's having an absolute blinder with the set pieces nice little flick on and he puts it in fantastic for us we're gonna make um, a couple of changes though things aren't going too well we're gonna bring well, we haven't got a striker really to bring on have we we're gonna have to bring on Philip I think up front um, defense wise we're okay Cal Garston uh, who do we put on it bring on that's the question right, we're gonna bring Dolan on but we're, what we're gonna do is pause it I'm gonna go to the tactics I'm gonna just bring it back down to a 4 2 2 uh, it's not ideal by any means, but if we bring him there, if we bring him into a shadow striker, hopefully, maybe that will bring him a bit more forward. It's it's not ideal, but it hopefully will do something for us and we can get a winner. We'll see how that goes. We'll confirm the changes and we'll play. Um, I feel like we should get something out of this. I feel like we should get a winner, really, but we'll soon see. As... Five minutes left. Not much else is really happening at the moment. Come on, can we get a winner out of this? There's three minutes of added time. It looks like we're going to draw this at the moment. Tom with a great interception, but they get it back, and we've got to be really careful here. Don't you dare let them in at the end. Nope. Philip, now can he? Can we get something out of it? No, that was the end of it. We drew two all. Not ideal, but it's better than a loss. So we're going to say I'm far from pleased to watch the soil. You're unlucky tonight, I'll say that. Um, it was a bit of a shame. But I think once we've got a few more players back, we'll be able to obviously um, have a bit more of a structure. He's out for one or two days. That's not too bad. He was absolutely fantastic for us. He was superb in front of goal last and keep it up. That's good, keeping up the... Uh, Keeping everything up. How long have we been recording for? We've been recording for 12 minutes. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We are going to show you the Leverkusen game as well. So I'll see you guys in a flash. We'll get over to the Leverkusen game. Hi guys. Welcome back there after the flash. Um, and yeah, things are pretty good for us in the European Cup. We've got Juventus, which is going to be a really tough game. We've got Basel and we've got Fyanoid, so that's going to be a really, I think that's going to be quite a um, good group. If we can get through that group, I think we'll do really, really well. Um, Juventus is going to be so tough to beat, but I, th I feel we can definitely get second. So, yeah, I'm pretty positive with that group. Uh, we've got Asenberg, uh, Augsburg, is it? Uh, in the um, second round of the German Cup, a game again, I feel we can win. Um so we're playing Leverkusen today. Uh, I think we'll do all right though. We'll uh, get through to the team. So we're going to go for the uh, four-two-three-one formation. Uh, I feel like it might work better for us. Uh, we've got a couple of players back. So Schmezel, Schmez, Schmeiser, Schmeiser um, has come back. Um, but apart from that, it's pretty much the same team. We've got uh, Nuri Shahin coming in the. Um, Midfield, and I'll tell you the one thing I have noticed, and I don't know if it's going to be a problem for us, but we either got seems to be attacking playmakers or deep line playmakers. We don't have any like ball winning midfielders or anything like that um, in our midfield. Whether it's because some of them are injured, like Sebastian Road, uh, yeah, he, he's a ball winning midfield, but he's obviously uh, he is back at the moment, but he's he's not fully fit, and I don't want to play him until he's a little bit fitter. So we have got a little bit of an issue with sort of the roles we can play I mean you look at this these none of these really play though they play one or two and that's about it really um, which is a bit of a shame really so it's a very attacking team from the looks of it um, but I would like to have a little bit more whether that means I might have to sell one or two players and look to bring another midfielder in who more fits in playing like a ball winning midfielder or um, a box to box midfielder or something like that um, might have to wait and see him. We've got Julian Wade as well. He's a deep line player, but he's more of a natural deep line playmaker. So 
I think once he's back as well, it'll be a little bit better. We can then play one of these more as a, an attacking playmaker and or an attacking midfielder. Uh, that's the plan anyway. But I think at the moment we're going to have to go with this. Hopefully this will work. Uh, it might mean there's a bit of a gap in the middle here, but I'm, I'm still confident that we'll do okay. Um, I've just noticed we haven't got any team instructions, so we're going to exploit the flanks. Normal tempo. We're going to play it wide. Closing down more. Use type marking. Uh, mixed. Yeah, we'll, stay on, we'll save that. We're going to look for the overlap. Work into the box as well, and we'll see how that goes. Um, that's my fault for not setting it all up. We'll see how that goes though, hopefully it'll go alright. So we're going to get into the game anyway. Um, and I feel quite confident we should do quite well here. We'll set that there. Um, we're going to say passionately. I can't we're going to say that. Play your own game. Uh, we'll give them the passionate talk here. Hopefully that will sort stuff out for us and hopefully we will get something out of this so we'll see how we get on gee fantastic I see we missed a play of his caliber it's just being rested so we'll see where we get on because I feel like we can do all right on this get on this um, match. We just uh, need to, we're at home as well, so you'd have to put us as clear favourites really to win this. Uh, buying Labour kids in, in real life, I don't think they're doing too good. They're at mid table, if I remember rightly. Uh, I'm probably, someone's probably going to tell me I'm wrong. Um, as we have a chance here, but they unfortunately get it. And we try to get it back, but we just can't at the moment. And they're passing, they're zipping it around a bit. But it's a great tackle there. And can we get them out of this? We can't, unfortunately. But we're going to click the ball here. Can we release Gotez as we get in? Can we get him? He's got, he's got one on one. Can he get a goal? He puts it straight at the keeper. We have a corner now. What can we do here? Can we do anything? We've had some great corners so far. Tar gets it out, but then he goes to Castro. Castro gets it back in. Castro with a shot, but it's really wide. And it's still nil-nil. But we seem to be the better side after 20 minutes. I mean, Jonathan Tar was another player I was looking at. Um, we all know how good a talent he is. As we come forward again, can we do anything with it? We get it out wide. We... Yamanko, oh come on, if you'd got that, that would have been brilliant. But we managed to collect it here, but it's all getting bounced around a little bit. And it's Leverkusen who can come forward with it. We've got to be a bit careful here. But we managed to get the ball back. And can we build something again? As He has a great chance, he's through. And he's true. Oh. Such a good striker as well. And... That was a really poor corner, but we've got maybe a chance here. Can we provide anything here? Nuri's got it. It's just Shell. Shell's got it, but he gets tackled. But we collect the ball again, and that's the end of the highlight. And we seem to be all over, and we seem to be in a much better side. I think it's just a matter of time before we score. Uh, things look pretty good. With 25 minutes to go on, they have now got... A throw in we've got to be careful we don't want to concede obviously but we tackle again great Castro with the ball and we look to break again Aubameyang's going forward he gives it to Yamaloko we knock it out wide to Pizek Pizek can go down the line he puts a cross in gets a header oh that was so close Gotez oh we have a free kick can we do anything with a free kick here we hit the Straight at the keeper. Uh, can we, get Shell, get in there. One nil. Get in there. It was coming. You could see it was coming. We were all over them. Uh, that's fantastic. One nil. As long as we can maybe hopefully grow on that. It was a great free kick. Absolutely fantastic free kick. Castro then gets it. And that was a lovely goal. Can we get any more out of this? 30 minutes gone. Can we go turn up before half time? It's 35 minutes gone, almost 40 now, and 
we're going to come forward again. As every time we come forward, we look like we, we could cause some issues. As we're passing the ball around, great again. Can we get out wide though, maybe? I'll get it to Shell. Shell then brings it in. Gets a nice little pass. Gets it out wide. Can we get a cross in? Gets a cross in. 2 0. Get in there. Get in there. Abamyam is it? Abamyam gets a brilliant little header, a little almost like a flick on header. Absolutely fantastic. Getting there 2 0 to us. And things are going absolutely fantastic for us as we're coming up to half time and we really can't complain at all. I will get better with the names, I promise. I know I'm probably butchering every single name. It's even it's funny in some ways that how bad I am with these names. Uh, team talk wise, I mean, what else can we say apart from calmly? I'm very pleased to keep the performance going, lads. Uh, everyone looks like they're reasonably fit, looking around 80%. We'll just carry on, hopefully, more of the same in the second half. Put this to bed, and we can maybe get on as we create in some space here. Cast through the ball, gets it out wide again. We are doing really well wide, but unfortunately, we get tackled, and that's a throw in. Can we get anything out of this? We can't, it ends the highlight. And I mean, we're 55 minutes gone, and to be honest, not much is really happening at the moment. 60 minutes gone, and I mean, we've had so many shots and on target as well. You'd expect us to be maybe 3 or 4 nil up at the moment, but it's been a bit of an event for us. 20 minutes gone, we're going to make some substitutions because this time's just absolutely flying at the moment. So we're going to bring on Shinze for there. Um, we're also going to bring on Dahoud there. And I think that'll be it. We're just basically trying to change a few people. I'm also going to bring on Batra because he's uh, want to get him a bit fitter. He's a good defender for us. So we're being a bit risky. We've made all our substitutions. We have a free kick. Castro with a free kick. Doesn't really do anything. Volan's going to collect it. And they're going to try and break forward now. They're pumping their players forward. We've got to be a bit careful. We don't want to concede. They're switching it around really well. I'll give them credit. But we, oh, Yamanko collects it brilliantly. And we have a chance here. Got a bit of work to do though. He gets past one play. It's one on one with the keeper and he takes a shot and it's just wide. That could have been 3 0. We made some substitutions though, so hopefully now we can just chew up a little bit. Uh, 10 minutes left to go. I think, unless something drastic happens, we should win this. Fingers crossed. Touch wood that uh, that's not going to not be the case. As we come forward again and Caravan gets tackled unfortunately and they can break here. Andre. Romulo's got it in. I don't know if that was a shot or a pass or what, but that was absolutely terrible. As we've got well, two minutes left, four minutes of extra time left. You've got to say we've probably won this now. There's a minute left of time after this ball. Uh, we bring it forward. Can we? Uh, we get the ball here. Can we do anything with it? Calgary's got it. He tries to slip through, but unfortunately he can't. It gets passed out. And. Oh, crud. Thought for a minute they were going to be through then for a second. With 40 seconds left to go. You've got to say it was looking pretty tasty at the moment, but we've got to be careful. Great bit of tackling there from Top Hack. He's been absolutely fantastic the last two games. We tried to get it to Castro, but unfortunately we couldn't. And now Bandit's coming. Mohamed's going to get the ball. He's going to put it in. Is it? Oh, that's just over. That almost cost us. That almost cost us. There's 10 seconds left. You've got to say we, we must win this now. 2 0. That's it, guys. Full time. 2 0 win. Fantastic, we played brilliantly. Looking at the stats there, you can see we were by far the better side. Absolutely brilliant. 81% pass completion, which was fantastic there. Um, but 19 shots, 10 on target. We should have probably won by more, to be honest. Uh, team talk, all we can say really is passionately, well done. Good win for us, lads. Hand over assistant. He says, your performance was very good tonight. Um, and... What else is there to say? It was absolutely brilliant by us. Puts us up to third. Obviously, two points behind Wolfsburg, two points behind Red Bull. Um, everyone else has played. Where was Bayern? Bayern, it looks like, lost their game, which is pretty good for us. You'd say they're probably our main competitors. Um, I'll do all this in a minute. When are we going to come back? We are going to come back for... 
Oh, do I? I've got to bring you the Juventus game, haven't I? We'll come back for the Juventus game. I say hopefully the Wolfsburg game as well, depending on time. So Juventus and Wolfsburg. Please come and drop a like. Please come and subscribe. Please come and say hello on Twitter. Comment on this. Tell me how you think I'm doing. Tell me how bad I am at my names and how I should be a lot better. Um, yeah, it'd be great to hear from you guys. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure and I will see you on the next episode. Bye for now.